Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. I wanted to pop in. Now, I got this question. A young lady, she asked me, what is the difference between a girlfriend and a wife? Like, how should you carry yourself differently? And I had a quote that went viral a long time ago talking about, I said, stop praising boyfriends. Now, I used to be a poet, so I would always play on words and I would use words in different ways that is not commonly used so when i said stop praising boyfriends some people thought i meant don't say hey good job or hey thank you for loving me or thank you they took it very literal but what i meant was like stop putting boyfriends on a pedestal stop promoting boyfriends stop i meant promoting boyfriends like how as soon as you get with somebody you taking a picture with them and you showing them off every day you change your status on Facebook and you, oh, this is the greatest man alive. Oh, he's so amazing. Oh, bay this and bay that. And y'all just been together three months, six months. And you given him so much credit, but he hasn't really done anything for you in the sense of shown himself to be proven over the test, through the test of time. And so you have to understand that there is a difference between being a girlfriend and being a wife and you have to pace yourself and i noticed it even with my wife like the perks and stuff that i got with her they were rolled out over time like everything that she does for me now 13 years in marriage she didn't do this in dating she didn't do it in the first year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, sixth year. It was like each year she became a little bit more open, a little bit more giving. Like she, she would open up more and more. Her personality evolved over time as I continued to love her and show her that I am trustworthy, that she can trust, that she can have faith that her husband is going to be right and do right and be there for her and really be a real man the more i showed that the more she began to open up and so, but what's happening is everything that my wife is to me 13 years in marriage it will be celebrated 13 march 2020 it's a lot of women doing and saying and giving and doing all of that in year one with a boyfriend and that's the problem is there is a difference now this is it's old-fashioned it's old-fashioned and not everything can be related to a specific couple you can't just look at my couple you can't just look at your parents you can't just look at somebody because everybody made mistakes so my wife and I we lived together before marriage and that is a husband benefit but the reason why I don't promote that and stamp that is because we are an exception to the rule. So when you are a girlfriend, only thing a girlfriend should be doing, like sexual, is a peck on the lips. You don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear that. That's the only thing a girlfriend should be doing. Sexual is a peck on the lips. I mean, you can rub his back, you can massage his, his scalp, you know, if, you know, you could do something like you out, you walk in, you on a date or something like that. Okay, okay, I get that. But it should not be anything oral, intercourse, should not be any of that when you just a girlfriend. You should not be cooking him meals. Now, it's okay if you make him a birthday meal a Thanksgiving meal, a Christmas meal, but you shouldn't be cooking every week. You shouldn't be cooking for him every week. Not especially if he is not cooking for you too. Now it's different if you cook for him, he cook for you, or y'all cook together. So understand that I, it's crazy I gotta be so specific cause people will find, uh, uh, oh, well not every, oh, and try to find something in there. Listen to what I'm telling you. Now, you should not be doing his laundry. That is serving. That is servitude, if that's a word. That is a love language to serve 
an act of service, according to Dr. Gary Chapman. But what you have to understand is, is you cannot give a boyfriend the benefits of a husband. The good book in Ephesians 5 says, Wives, uh, submit unto your husband as unto the Lord. And before it says that, it tells a husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. Both of those are very huge, huge uh, calls, charges. Both of those are very, very big when you look at it, when you think about this thing, when you draw the parallel about what's being said. But understand, it's talking about husband and wife, not boyfriend and girlfriend. So what's happening today is there's so many women that you cooking for him, you cleaning for him, y'all living together, y'all sleeping together, he driving your car, you loaning money, you know, you getting yelled at, you getting cursed at. And, and those negative abusive things are not husband benefits either. So don't, don't get that confused. But you putting up with so much and you're giving so much and you're doing so much. This your boyfriend. You ignoring your family to go to his family on Thanksgiving. That's your boyfriend. That's not your husband. You go see your family. Let him go see his family. And then y'all FaceTime each, each other and meet each other. That's your boyfriend, not your husband. And this is what y'all have to understand. Now, all y'all, you're going to see the comments flooded. Why buy the cow if the milk is free and all of this stuff. We got all these slogans, but ain't nobody listening to it. Ain't nobody paying attention to it. The, the, very, the very people that say, why buy the cow when the milk is free, got their milkshake bringing all the boys to the yard, giving away all the milk free. And, and know all the slogans but don't know what that means that means why marry you if you already having intercourse with him that's what that means <laughs> why buy the cow if the milk is free that's what that means now it probably means some other stuff too but that's what it means in regard to a relationship it's like why marry this woman if i already could live with her and sleep with her and and get meals cooked what sense does that make to bring the government in my business to then be governing over me to where now if I want to get a divorce, I got to hire a lawyer and I got to give up 50% if I didn't sign a prenup and I got to go through all of this stuff, this legal stuff, because I legally signed a paper saying that I'm married. The man is saying to himself, why do that? If I already have everything that I would have if I was married to her, that is why you separate the two. That's why you separate them so that in dating, he has his own place. You have your own place unless y'all living with parents. He has his own transportation. You have your own transportation unless y'all take uh, public transportation and the all he's getting the ultimate reward is going all the way intercourse but all he's getting is a little peck on the lips nothing more nothing 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 with Angela nothing with the mouth a, a peck on the lips nothing else sexual that's all he getting and so what he is doing in this process is he's falling in love. And I'm talking to the men too. A lot of times men, all you do is talk to the women. All you do is talk to the women. It, no, this is for you too. Stop expecting so much in dating and just court the woman. Take her on dates. The way dating ought to look today is you talk on the phone, either audio or FaceTime. You ain't doing nothing nasty on FaceTime. You talking on the phone, and then every week you going on a date. That's how it ought to look. And then when that man falls in love, 
Then he gets on one knee and he proposes and say, will you marry me? And then after that, you set the wedding date. If y'all don't have any money, then you set the court date to go to the courthouse to get married. And you do that and you don't get married inside of 12 months. You can get engaged if you want to at six months. You can get engaged at 12 months and be married by 18 or 24 months. But at 36 months, if y'all ain't married and you over the age of 25, y'all are wasting your time. You're wasting your time, neither one of you, or, or the man is not serious about life. He's not serious about marriage. He, if he take more than 36 months to get on a knee and ask you to marry him, he, is, he does not see you as his wife if he's over the age of 25. 25 to me is really for a man, the age of reckoning, when a man really comes into manhood. 18 is not that. He is an adult legally on paper, but he is not really a man at 18 unless he's exceptional. He's an exception to the rule. So understand what I'm telling you here. You need to sit down and you need to identify the things that you are doing in your relationship and ask yourself, are you crossing the line and are you doing things in, in a dating relationship, boyfriend and girlfriend, that should be reserved for marriage? If the answer is yes, y'all need to sit down and you need to make changes and say, look, we moving too fast. Let's scale back. Or if we didn't came this far, we need to go and jump the broom because we living together with a broom in the corner, but we ain't jumped the broom. So we got the cart before the horse and that's why we stagnant and unhappy because we're not doing things with decency and in order we out of order and we too desperate and thirsty and we playing house instead of building a house on a firm foundation so you got to have this conversation with yourself if you're in a relationship you got to have this conversation with your partner do not mention my name that's why i got to have security now because y'all keep saying my name to these men and and they getting mad with me because no man want another man online calling shots in his household. So if you agree with something you hear online from anybody, myself, another man, another woman, and I shouldn't say another man, but a man don't want anybody outside of his relationship influencing changes. And a lot of women don't want that either. So if you hear something that you agree with, you make the decision and and you put it on you that this is a decision that you have made and this is why you believe this is the right decision to make so understand that there hey if you made it this far put be blessed in the comments i just really need to know that what i'm saying is not falling on deaf ears and that you could hear me and understand me and that we getting all the way through this and, and what I want to ask you is, you know, the attention span of humans, they say, is like seven minutes. Shift your brain to where when you come to my video, you ask yourself, what is 15 or 20 minutes of growth going to hurt me? And if I can't sit still and feed my spirit, my mind for 15, 20 minutes, then what do I really deserve or want out of life? If I can't do that. So if you made it this far, put be blessed in the comments. And hey, to all of the blessed tribe, those individuals who hit join and join the membership. If you haven't, the link will be in the description. You click that link and you could become a member. What I'm doing with the members is on Sundays at 9 p.m. Eastern, I'll be doing a live and I'll be answering questions. Sometimes I answer the questions live on the screen, but then sometimes I will message you all. I'll put it in our community tab for that members only can see. And I'll say, put your question here and I'll grab 10 to 20 questions. And I'll try to do that live for a whole hour so I can get through enough questions. Can't get everybody question. So understand that. So the next time just submit it right away so I may get you on the next video. But just doing that just to have a different type of connection to those who 
or just wanting that little bit of extra. But hey, thank you so much. This is Tony Gaskins. We'll talk soon.